If you've ever dreamed of owning your own business but it seemed far too overwhelming, then you might want to consider investing in a franchise. Today we're joined by Derek Lilly, who successfully bought the UK franchise Dream Doors to New Zealand. Derek, great to have you with us. Giving you the best of both worlds, I guess that's what a franchise can do. Absolutely, Mike. Um, it, the, there are some stats that we talked about earlier, you know, with regards to success from running your own business, starting it yourself, seeing it to, to fruition. Only 15% of businesses succeed in that way, whereas 90% of franchises succeed. It's a huge... That's a huge difference, isn't yeah, it? It's, 90%. And you use the word heartbreaking, and it is because people invest all their life savings sometimes. Yeah. And when you start a business, I guess you need that support, so that's what a franchise can offer. But what sort of people do you think get into a franchise? Go-getters. Go-getters. Yeah, people with a vision, people with a dream, people who want to work for themselves, who are fed up answering to the boss. Sometimes. It really is as simple as that sometimes. They're making a lot of money for their boss, but not for themselves. OK, Derek, how do you choose a franchise? It's a really good question. I, I get asked this a lot. What, why should I choose this business as opposed to that particular business? Here's a really good way. Speak to all the franchisees of the business that you want to get involved with. Ask them what they think of the business, think of their boss. Because it's not really a boss, it's a mentor system. You follow a template of a proven success formula. What else does it offer? Because you've, you know, you've got that template in place. What does that cover? For everything from marketing, uh, installation, accounting. There's it's huge kind of aspects of the business. It's already in a template that you buy into. Whether you buy McDonald's, they've got one. Subway's got one. Dream Doors have one. And what if things start going wrong? What happens then? Well, it, it, I mean, things can go wrong in business, and, and I'll guarantee you it will. <laughs> so, <laughs> somewhere, Mike, uh, you, you, you know yourself, it, it's having a system and a backup within your organisation that can help in the time of emergency. Is there someone to call on? Yes, always is in franchising. When you're by yourself, it's you. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah. And you, no doubt, would have had some fantastic feedback from franchise holders that, you know, what, what, what have you learned from them? They've obviously opened up their dream, things are going really good. What have they said back to you? Uh, I mean, I've got dozens of personal statements from successful franchisees that, that just love the business. They get in the business and then they really love the business. Yes, the income's great, but it's the faces of the customers when they've had their kitchen transformation it's just awesome and those are the, the things that keep my franchises going you see go-getters at the start those are the type of people that you think should be into a franchise do you have to have a business sense well it, it would obviously be helpful yeah but nine out of ten pe people who get into my business are not cabinet makers or carpenters they're uh, business people business people sales people um, policemen soldiers there's, the, honestly, there's such a diverse range of people who get into franchise, and that's why they may not have a field of expertise but are looking to get into one. OK, well, just to wrap, what would be the one piece of advice you'll give to anybody thinking about starting a franchise or getting involved in a franchise? Getting involved in a franchise. Go and speak to all the individual franchisees of the organisation you want to join. Right, nice work. Thank you so much, Darren. That's fascinating. You're welcome. Great to have you with us, and hopefully that's given people some ideas.